Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to Hazard County. All right, we got our Ford fired up right here. We're ready to jump into the fields. We've got uh, a bunch of stuff to take care of in this field right there. A large field. I want to, uh, well, I want to get it tilled for next year. We got to do some, to do some tilling work. We've got our tractor ready to rock and roll here. We got the old Ford. I've already got it hooked up with uh, the Weba, the six meter here. Yeah, this little plow. It, I think it can handle it. From what I remember, we've used this before. It worked all right. So it's got the duels on it. To, uh, to compensate for that. I've, I've had to bring this down from the upper shop, so I just kind of connected it in to save some time rather than connect it to, well, we got the 380 over there, and it's uh, it's already got a, uh, a disc cultivator already fired up so we can till that field up afterwards. I just want to take care of this right now and get this done. It should take like five minutes to make up a new field. But we just got to get the other side there, uh, quickly pull up that ground, pull that grass out of there, make it into one big field, and then uh, we'll bring the other one over and we'll till the rest of it all up, guys. Anyways, let's jump in. We'll do some work this morning and uh, get her done. All right, pitter patter. Clutch simulations. I don't get enough work with this Ford. I find I really do like this tractor. I just don't spend enough time in it, and uh, you know, it was more of an excuse for me to use it today. To be honest with you, it's a little under horsepower for what I'm doing here. I mean, we're only what 105 to 120 horsepower, somewhere in that range. I think off this motor. I can't worry about what the engine is on this thing. I really can't. I uh, better bring our beacons on here. There we go. Now, she's only two-wheel drive, of course, and we've got the duels on the back. And I've been using this a lot for fertilizing just because it's got those row crops on her. But, uh, yeah, the narrows, that helps out with that for sure. But other than that, I mean, a little bit of pig food work, but really nothing, nothing crazy. So I was the only tractor I had up at the top farm to bring the cultivator down with, or this uh, plow, I should say. So it, it's going to work for us, I'm sure. Just need to get into the field. Man, I, I'm catching you in my four, dude. Get a move on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Look, get out of my way. You're killing me this morning. I just need to get out of here. I want to get some work done. Um, we've got some other fields that are ready to be cultivated just a little bit further down and behind us. That direction back there. I think there's one field back there we can do right away. The rest, I don't think, are quite ready yet. They're, they're getting close, but not quite. I need to talk to Whammer find out how his sunflower seeds are doing over there. They look like they're pretty good to go. Cool. So this here section, we, uh, we just finished work in this section just the other day on a stream, actually. So it's all done. Look at this. We got a bunch of canola out of here. And I think it's going to get us some decent cash. There's quite a bit of canola we pulled off this area, guys. Looks really good. I'm pretty happy about that. But what I'm not happy about is this here whole section. This is just a waste of space. I mean, I've got fields on both sides. And i got a field actually in behind that tree stand right back there. So I want to get, uh, get in back there as well. I wouldn't mind bringing some forestry equipment and knocking those trees down. I really don't want those trees there. They're just getting my way. I should knock that whole row down. Be a little bit of work, wouldn't it? Anyways, let's uh, get this plow down. We're going to get this in here. And I'd like to get through this whole section as quickly as possible and then just get in here with uh, the case and kind of cultivate this whole field up. I mean, to till this shouldn't take us that long, but uh, we'll see. Drop this down. All right. And away we go. Perfect. Looks good. I mean, come on, grab. What is going on here? There she goes, right? Let's see if I can back it up a little bit here, maybe. Lift this on up. She's she's kind of sinking in. Let's see if I can get this back up here. All right, there we go. We lift it up, backed it on up. It's like it's sunk in there. We got a little bit of a... I wonder if it's a little bit moisture. Like, this is a, a drainage ditch maybe in here. What is going on here? Come on. Get through this. What is... Um... Um, that's a, a bit of an issue. I've got, I've got the plow up right now. Oh man, I'm in the trees here too. I've got the plow up and I'm sunk in. And those back tires have just kind of rutted themselves into the ground here, guys. What the heck? How did that happen? Really? Come on, man. Okay, let's, let's see if we can yard this out. The, um, if I can maybe push this up like this and just pull us forward just get us out of here i'm like this is all it's got to be right like, there must be just like a bit of a rut here oh. no i'm sinking in again look at this i'm sinking in every time i move forward i just kind of sink in a bit further oh there we go we're good we're good we're good i got it out huh all right well i don't know what that was from let's see if we can just kind of get rid of this section drop this down and away we go 
come on. Just get out of this muck. We just need to get through this muddy section. I think we'll be fine. Oh, man. Just not getting much luck here. Not much luck at all. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, I can lift it up, but it's, it's like, okay, I lift this up, and now I'm just kind of spinning my tires, literally. <sighs> I'm getting nothing, guys. Come on, go forward. No, like, there's, there's just no... I can't even transfer weight here, really. Oh, we got a little bit... Oh, man. All right. You know what? I think... Um, I think I'm going to have to tow this thing out. She's kind of stuck in here. Like, I've got... It's not even that bad. It's just... It's, I think it's just rutted out underneath of there. Huh. All right. You know what? I've got... Um, let's see. We'll try one more last time, but I've got... Let me think here. What can we use? I don't have any chains down here. I got zero chain. Oh, yeah. Nothing at all. If we lift up... Like, <laughs> it just doesn't want to move. It's just nothing but mud. Um, I do have, okay, I got the Bronco. I got the Bronco right around the corner. I can grab the Bronco, bring it out here, and I wonder if it'll have any kind of a, any luck pulling this thing out. Like, I don't even have the, pro the plow down right now. The plow, if I lift it up, it's just going to sink in. But we'll lift this up. Um. Yeah, let's get the Bronco. We'll attach it to this, and we'll see if the Bronco can pull this thing out with a winch. It's the only thing I have ready to go right now, so I can just run over there quickly. It'll take me, like, five minutes. Let's go run over there. We'll grab the Bronco. So not exactly designed for what we're going to be doing, but, I mean, it's got a winch on the front. We've got that worn winch. We should be able to at least connect to it, and then uh, hopefully... There we go. Hopefully uh, the Bronco's got some power. I hope I can just kind of grab onto it. We'll see. Like, I don't... It doesn't seem like it should be that heavy, that little Ford. I think we should be able to just kind of yard it out of there. I don't know. It seems like it should just come out. So if I can just get it out of that little mucky, ditchy spot, maybe we'll be okay. Whoa! Watch out for traffic. <laughs> I'm coming in. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we could use with this. Unfortunately, like I said, I have no chains down here right now at the bottom. I put them all at the top, and uh, that might not have been the smartest idea. It's something we can grab if we need to. But I'd, I'd rather not. We can, I'm sure we could find a way to get this out right away here. Let's uh, slow her down, slow her down. Where's the... There we go. Let's see. I really need to work on this ground in here, too. Like, look at how how deep it is. It's going to dive us off. If we can kind of smooth this out, I'm sure it would be better for us. All right, we'll get the Ford in here. Get the Bronco. We'll spin her around. Back this on up. Nice. All right, that should be good. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. There we go. Cool. All right, let's uh, turn this winch on. Excellent. Grab it. And go and connect her right up here. If I can just kind of dive in here. Excellent. Perfect. We're connected. All right, guys. Let's see if I can yard this thing out of here. Uh, looks like it's good, I think. There's nothing I need to worry about here, right? I mean, I could lift this. I like, fold it right up. It's just like it's such a straight pull. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice and easy. Back. Oh, man. Nothing. Oh, no, I'm sinking. Come on. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm even sinking in with the Bronco. Are you kidding me? Even the Bronco's stuck in here. Why is it so wet in here? This doesn't... Is this like a drainage area? Is there a lot? Maybe there's like a water line underneath here broken. It doesn't seem like it should be this wet. Like, even up here, this seems like this should drain fairly well down in and out. I don't think there's, like, a massive ditch here. Um, but she's stuck. I can't get any traction. Look at this thing. She's, like, stuck in here. Those back tires sunk right on in. All right, let me give this one more last chance. We'll see what we can do here. Pull it ahead a touch. Oh, in the yard again. Come on. Oh, man. I'm not getting any movement off the forward. Just watching it there. Like, I don't see anything moving on the tractor. She just, she's staying put. Let's see if we can... <sighs> Even when I kind of jerk it back and forth. I don't want to go too hard, of course, because you're going to pull the winch off its mounts. But... <laughs> Nothing. 
Oh, man. Nothing at all. What a waste. Oh, man. All right. Um, so, guys, I really don't know. Uh, what else can we do with this? The Ford's not going to do it. You know what? I've got the Massey. I've got the Massey Ferguson. That's right. We got that old Massey tractor that we uh, that we found. Or we came with the, 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 other, the other shop there. And you know what? If we... I've got a mount I'm working on that. I'm working on something kind of special for that. And I need to show it to you guys anyways. So let's do that. Oh, come on. Look at this thing. Come on. Get out of the mud. Holy, she's mucky in here. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to need to tow this out too. Wow. Come on, man. Oh, no. The Bronco's stuck. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um, I don't think I can do about that. <laughs> I'm hiking back. Lovely. Oh, bad. All right. That's twice I've had to hike back. I mean, it's not like it's that far, but still. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Um, all right. So I got something special for the Massey Ferguson here. I, I think this tractor should actually be able to take care of this. I'm not worried about the horsepower. But these big mud tires, the big tires on this tractor will be enough to pull it out. It's got to be, right? We're, I mean, we're only two-wheel drive, sure. Um, the only problem, I would put this on one of my other tractors. But the, the big thing is that, uh, well, we got a special mount for it. Let me show it to you here. Let me just back this thing on up. Back her on right up to our shed here that we've been working on this. A little side project I had on the go here. Turn it off. So... My plan with this was, well, obviously with the bush hog, we can cut grass around various areas of the farm, but also I wanted to be able to pull some trees around and just tow some stuff out. There's our other project, that uh, pressure washer I want to bring out at some point, but we've got this, this um, winch right here and it's special mount for the back of our, uh, our Massey. It fits perfectly on the back of this thing. And that was the whole plan with this is that I could connect this to it. I can use that. Oh, she's heavy to tow around and uh, we can connect it and tow stuff out, pull stuff out. Now, it hasn't been tested yet. I don't know how bad this thing's going to work or if it's going to work that well. We'll just slap this in. All right, let's do this right here. But I think that this is a great test to start it off with. I mean, look at that. It looks like it just kind of fits in there nice and snug. The mount is perfect for it and we have power for it as well, of course. Um, I think it's kind of a great test for this little piece of equipment. And a good test for the Massey to make sure it can handle some of the stuff we're going to throw at it, hopefully. Nice. Massey's away. Now, the only thing is, of course, it's a little on the slow side. But, eh, what are you... It's all right. Well, we can make do with that. That's fine. We're still early in the morning here. Cool. Let's get across here. I'm just a little... The only thing I'm concerned about is horsepower-wise. I think the, the, the wheels themselves, they should give us the traction. As long... I mean, it doesn't going to take much to pull both of those things out of there, right? Like, it's just simple. A simple pull... And uh, we'll have them both. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Nothing like driving an old Massey Ferguson down the middle of the highway. <laughs> Gotta watch out for traffic coming behind you. Make sure no one comes up and sneaks up on you. Um, I can't go that quick, of course. <laughs> uh, definitely sketchy. Yeah, no hazards. I got no beacons. I got nothing. Anyways, all right. Let's see. Where we got our equipment? Right here. Like I said, at least it's close, but... It's not a fun run to do. <laughs> I don't need to do that twice in one day. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. How do you have my coffee yet? All right, let's dive right into the field here. Nice and easy, like. A little bit tippy. This tractor's a little on the tippy side, but uh, it's not bad. Nice. Nice and easy. Perfect. Now, if we just kind of back up to the Ford, kind of like, oh, I don't want to stay on the grass. Stop, 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 stop. I want to stay on the grass. I don't want to get into the field because, well, we saw what happened to the Bronco. We know it's definitely muckier in the field than it is uh, where we are, so we can stay kind of on the grass here. I think we're better off. I think if we stay on the grass, we're better off than in the field for sure. <laughs> so, I can't believe I did that. Like, look at this. You'd think the Bronco would be able to get out of that. I guess not. All right, let's hook this winch up. We'll grab that. Hook this up into here. Awesome. All right, so we got that connected. Um, let's fire this thing up. Now, oh man, should we just, I don't know, if, I want to drive her forward. I don't want to pull the winch. We'll see what happens if we pull it, if we just drive her. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, like, Getting some tension. These wheels, uh oh, they're spinning a little bit. Come on, just go. 
Oh, I think we're going to hook it up. It's hooking up. It's hooking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good, I think. Nice and easy. Don't want to spin. No, no wheel spin because that's just going to dig into the mud. Oh, now I'm starting to stretch it. Come on. There we go. Oh, she's loose. You can see how that just kind of went all of a sudden? You can see that she just went loose all of a sudden there. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Ah, this Massey's got some power. I like it. Make sure we get it out of that area. Cool. That, that worked out well. That wasn't too much of a problem at all. I, oh, man. She's still kind of dug in there. Yeah, no problem. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know what? I'm going to fold this up so I don't have to deal with this. Uh, let's disconnect this. And now we got to get our Ford out. Oh, let me get underneath here again. All right. So this has been unstuck. I don't think... You know what? I'm not going to risk it with the Ford again. It's just not worth it. It's too much of a pain. I don't want to get this thing stuck again. And it, I, maybe it might just not have the power anymore for this uh, particular this particular plow. It seems like, like we're not getting stuck down here. So the tires maybe are able to, to float up on top over here, but I don't know. It seems like it should be just as mucky in this section as well. Anyways, let's, uh, you know what? How are we going to do this? I do not want to go, like I said, I don't want to go into the field here. Let me see if I can, how are we going to do this? If I can put the tractor kind of like right here on the edge. And then we're going to grab that winch again, bring it on back, and we'll connect it to that bumper. And connect her on to the bumper, like I said. Where are we here? Let's grab that in. Oh, come on, grab on. There we go. Um, now, I don't think this is going to be as stuck, but what I really don't want to do, I don't want to drag the tractor into this at all. I don't want to I don't want to drive forward either. So, um, you know what? We've got this fired up. Perfect. Let's uh, just take the controls here. And we'll, I'm going to pull the winch back towards her. So I'm getting myself like a bit of a safe spot here. Kind of behind the wheel at least. Oh, man, not a great spot to be in, but at least you're not going to get whipped too bad by it. And uh, let's fire this up. Pull this winch in. Come on. Oh, man, is she coming? There she goes. All right, perfect. Stay put, stay put, stay put. I don't know if it's coming faster than that. We're, we're kind of weakened back a little bit. But I think it's coming our way. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. I think we almost have it. As soon as I get it on the grass, I think we'll be okay then. A little bit more. Come on. But you can see, like, we're, we're inching back just as much as it's coming towards us. Let's see if we can put it in high. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Right up against us. And stop. That worked out perfectly. All right. I like that a lot. Excellent. <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, let's see. How's the Ford looking? Can we move now? Let's get this thing up on the road. Oh, man. Look how muddy it is in here even. I got to wash this thing up. Come on, baby. Get up there. Come on. Get up the hill. Get up that hill. Oh, nice. A little bit mucky, but it, it, total, it handled that part at least. <laughs> She's so slick on here. I'm spinning everywhere. Awesome. Okay. We got that done. We got the Ford out. Um, and you know what? The Massey saved the day. That's fantastic. That's old tractor. Still, she still got it, guys. Still got it. Awesome. I'm going to go pull all this stuff back. You know what? We're going to be... Uh, yeah, I gotta get back in here and plow, but let's do this the right way this time, shall we? I think, yeah, I think we better do it the right way. All right, so like I said, no messing around. <laughs> if this thing gets stuck, the 9R gets stuck in there, um, I think I'm just gonna abandon it and leave it there because it's not coming out. <laughs> There's no way this is ever gonna get stuck in there, is there? And what would I use to pull it out if it did? <laughs> um, yeah, we got the 9R, we got the, uh, the web on the back. We're going to quickly go through this, get this done like I had planned an hour ago almost now, and uh, we'll get on with our day. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. There we go. Just kind of pulling nice and slow. Spin her around. Oh, man. It's don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. <laughs> Seriously, what the heck would I do if I ever got this thing stuck? I don't think that mass is going to pull it out, kids. I really don't. All right, drop this in. Why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing? There we go. And go. Oh, man. Not even a question. Yeah. <laughs> no problem at all. I think that's what we expected, though, isn't it? Sweet. Anyways, guys, that is uh, going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I was kind of getting stuck. We're going to get back into... Uh, we got to finish off this field today. I got some cultivating to do, of course. 
get uh, this all tilled up in here. A lot of tilling to do. And then we've got a lot of harvesting coming up as well. We've got a big field over on the side, uh, all with root crop vegetables that's going to be almost ready to go. You know what? Let me just cut this all off right here like that. Looks good. And uh, that's going to be interesting. I, I don't know yet exactly how many. I mean, we're testing out root crops here on Hazard, so we have three different root crops. Not to mention we got hops, and I think we got some spelt as well to harvest. So uh, that's all going to be coming up next time in the last couple episodes. So hope you guys enjoyed today's. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. All the good stuff that we always talk about at the end of our videos. And other than that, well, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.